Welcome back. Now that you have rebooted, we need to test if you've done part one correctly. Link below. Start Apache with the shortcut on your desktop. Open a web browser. In the address bar, type local host. The HTML file in this directory will be displayed. And it will say it works if it does. We need a CGI script to execute. There is basically two types of CGI scripts. Server-side scripts, they are in the CGI bin of the uh, server. And client-side scripts, they are executed on the client's computer. And both part is on the client and part is on the server. We're going to create a server-side script in Perl. To do this, we need to download and install Perl. Now we need to go to ActiveState.com products and download and then install Active Perl. Link below. This will send us to this page. Under products, we have Perl. Then we want to download this installer right here. And we'll install a uh, Active Pearl. And we have typical and compact, or uh, complete rather. You can uh, use either. But I use complete so that if I find something later I want, I can do it. Now it asks add Pearl to your path. If you're going to use Pearl a lot, then you want to add it to the path. If you're not, you don't want to. I don't. This will uh, create a directory in the C drive called Perl64 or Perl32, depending on which one of the uh, operating systems you have. Now we need to create a Perl script. That Perl script can be saved on the C drive to Apache 24. CGI bin hello world.pl. So open your notepad and we're going to uh, type in some uh, lines. First line is going to be a pound sign and an explanation point. That tells the browser that we want to execute uh, this interpreter. You need the full pass of the interpreter and a space minus T. And it tells you to use the struts and warnings. This is a function, print function. You notice you have an open quote and a closing quote. And this is the end of the line of that particular function. So we have content type and a colon text forward slash plane and a semicolon and then you have chip set character set ISO uh, 8859 minus one and two new line uh, characters that's a backslash with an N. This is telling uh, the uh, program the interpreter that this is going to be a plain text. Actually tells the uh, web browser that this is a plain text file. And to use this character set. This character set's in all of uh, the browsers. Then we have print, hello world, and of course the two uh, new line statements in the end of the uh, string and the end of the function. So uh, type this all up and uh, save it as hello world.pl inside of uh, 
this directory right here. Now we need to edit the uh, HTML uh, file, the index HTML file. It's found here. And it looks like this. Between the greater than and the less than sign after body, press enter a couple of times. And between uh, the uh, greater than and less than sign, just before body, uh, press enter four times. Now this opens up our file. And we're going to add something to it. We're going to add this line right here. Now, what this says is center means to center it in the page. H1 is the size of the print we want. Now, here we have form action equals HTTP uh, localhost, CGI bin, and, of course, the Perl script. And the method we're going to use is post. There's two methods. There's post and there's get. Down here, it's going to print the button. Now, the input type of the button is going to be submit, which means it's going to execute this. The value is going to be uh, whatever you want it to be. In this case, it's going to be PL help. And then that's the end of the uh, size of the uh, characters we want. And this is the end of uh, the center. And this is the end of the form. Now, put all this in and then save it. Save the file to this directory. Now, open your web browser and uh, to localhost and press F5 a couple of times and you should have a new button. Click on the button and then you should have Hello World. If you don't, then you've done something in this tutorial wrong. Now I'm going to show you another way to write a CGI script. This is a C or C++ CGI script. This is nothing more than a comment between this uh, two things right here and right there. Include uh, Studio H just tells it to uh, include the print statement. Now this and uh, this line right here and that line right there will be automatically written for you whenever you open your uh, compiler, whichever one you happen to be used. It'll also include this one and that one. So all you need to do is put these two lines in. As you can see, it says print f. It's the name of the function. And inside of the parentheses and before the uh, semicolon, you put the same thing you did in the other file. Because the web browser is going to read it and it needs to know what type of file you have. And down here you got print f again. And uh, you have hello world with the two new lines. Now the difference in these, oh yes, and you also, uh, this will, when you compile this, this will compile it to an executable. You can change the exe to .cgi if you want to put it in your uh, bin directory. This will do exactly the same thing as the other one did. The difference is that this compiles your uh, CGI script. Which that means is it makes it native to your operating system. So it's faster. You don't have an interpreter to uh, mess with. This is just a couple of ways you can do it. Also, uh, I forgot to. Also, if you uh, compile to a, a C or a C++ or uh, Pascal or one of the other compilers, 
then uh, you won't need to have an interpreter because uh, it's native to your operating system. Thank you for your time. Uh, you can go to my website and look at uh, CGI scripts a little bit more if you like.